Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. Today, I'm going to show you how can we calculate the days between any two dates. For this purpose, we can use the days 360 formula. So, let's jump onto the data without wasting any time. Here, created a sample data. First column is employee ID, second employee name, joining date, retirement date, and we need to calculate the days worked between these two dates. So for this purpose, I will use this days 360 formula, which starts with is equal to DAYS on the second one, press tab. Now I need to enter the start date. Start date is the joining date. If I click on this cell, it will call its reference cell. Now comma, and now it's the end date, which is the retirement date, close of bracket. If I press enter, so it will calculate the days for me between these two dates, which is 10113. If I want to copy this formula, simply I'll double click on its bottom. So it will drag the formula for me for the rest of the employees as well. So it will calculate the days for all the employees. So one thing I want to make you sure, guys, that this formula, days 360, this consider the year as a 360 days. It always consider that the year consists of 360 days. If you if you formula or if your company policy is different to it, if you consider the year as a 365 days, then you simply can use the formula which is, is equal to end date minus start date. So it will calculate the all days between these two dates and it will consider the year as a 365 days so you can copy this by double click on it so it will calculate the days for you if i compare these two days the days work for the wiki is 10113 according to the 360 formula and according to the others minus formula is showing in a 10260 why the days are showing more when I apply the simple formula because the simple formula consider the 365 days in a year whereas this formula is considered only 360 days so just keep this factor in mind I wrote down the formula for you is is equal to date 360 start of bracket start date comma and date and close of bracket so I hope so you like this video like and share with your friends and make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming video. So I'll see you guys in next video.